Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to make this huge marble seal embedded into a marble or granite wall like the kind you see in lobbies of government buildings. I provided a Photoshop file for you to download so you can follow along. Its link is located in the video's description or project files. It includes a marble wall, a different marble texture for the seal, a template, and text which you can replace with your own words. Go to View and make sure Snap is not checked. Open your Type Tool and choose a font. For this example, I'm using a thin condensed font called Pasta Palazzo. It's available to download for free at thefont.com. Watch my tutorial on installing fonts. I provided that link as well. I'll choose a size of 100 points, smooth, center text, and the color is white. Highlight your text and type in your own words. If you want to increase the space or tracking between the characters, highlight your text and press and hold Alt or Option as you press the right arrow key. To make sure your text is centered, open your Move tool, press Ctrl A on a PC or Command A on a Mac, and then click on the Align Vertical Centers icon, and then the Align Horizontal Centers icon. To delete the selection, press Ctrl or Command D. Open your Channels panel and click on the circular icon. This makes a selection of all the tonal values in the image. Open back up your Layers panel and make the marble texture visible and active. Press Ctrl or Command Shift I to invert the selection and Ctrl or Command J to cut and copy the selection and place it on its own layer. Hide the marble texture, the text, and the template and make the marble wall visible. Click on the FX button and choose Bevel and Emboss. Make the style Pillow and Boss, the Technique Smooth, the Depth 100%, the Direction Up, and the Size 5 pixels. Then click OK. The next step is to remove the horizontal and vertical lines of the wall that's peeping behind the empty spaces of the seal. To do this, make your marble wall active and open your Clone Stamp tool. Make the size 40 pixels with a hardness of 100%. The blend mode is normal and the opacity is 100% too. So for example, if we want to remove these lines, press Alt or Option and click down on an area of the marble we would like to clone. Once you click down, release Alt or Option. Now simply brush in the cloned marble over the lines. I'll keep repeating this as I clone more to the left. To remove these lines, I'll press Alt or Option here, click down, release, and brush over the lines. Continue until you've retouched all the lines behind the seal. Let's angle our entire image so it looks like we're looking up at it. Drag the marble wall layer below the seal. Go to the seal and shift click on it to highlight both layers. Press Ctrl or Command T to open your transform tool. To see the entire transform on your screen, press Ctrl or Command 0. Go to a bottom corner and press and hold Ctrl Shift Alt on a PC or Command Shift Option on a Mac and drag it out. Go to the middle on the side and when you see a straight double arrow, press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag in. Click inside and drag down to center it. Continue to adjust it until you're happy and then press enter or return. Fit it back onto your screen. 
Let's add some dramatic lighting. Make a composite snapshot of this image by pressing Control Shift Alt E on a PC or Command Shift Option E on a Mac. Go to Filter, Render, and Lighting Effects. The Lighting Effects window will open. Choose Spotlight and the color is white. Click and drag out the scale length and the scale width. Continue to adjust the length and width until you're happy with the shape. To move it, click inside and drag it. We'll adjust the ambiance to 25. Ultimately, I made the intensity 41, the hot spot 98, the gloss and metallic 100 each, and the ambiance 25. When you're happy with all the adjustments, click OK. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.